Hey everyone, in today's review, we are going to talk about Escoda Prado brushes. These are made by the company Escoda from Spain. Let me show you the different types of brushes that are available in this product line. This is Escoda's website. So Prado is a synthetic brush. It says here that it is quite similar to sable hair. It imitates its color, spraying and absorption of liquids. Now the hair is made of three different diameters and three lengths and the resulting brush stroke is the same as one made of natural hair. So later on we'll test that out. These are the different brushes available. We have the flat brush, the rigger, this is a round brush in the pocket brush format. This is a round brush with wooden handle. All these brushes, they are short handle brushes. Here we have a bright and this right at the bottom here, this is a few bird. The brushes come in different sizes of course and depending on the type of brush you are getting, the range of sizes may be wider or smaller. So for the travel brush, we only have size 2 to size 12 for the round brush it's from the small size to size 22. The reason why I bought this particular set is because I needed some flat brushes in my collection. I did not have any before I bought this so I bought the set for the flat brushes. I bought them a long time ago as a set. They are from the artist collection and in this case it's from the Fabio Sembranelli collection. So in that collection, there are two flat brushes, a one inch brush and a three quarter inch brush. And there is a rigger size two. Let's compare the synthetic hair on the Prado brush to a sable brush. I'm not sure if my camera can capture the colors accurately. As I look through the camera's LCD screen, I can see that they are quite similar, but in real life, the sable is a bit darker and I can definitely tell that they are different. It's quite springy though, I must give it to them. But after I used it for a while, I realized that they do not hold as much water compared to other types of brushes that I have. So I went on to buy this Escoda Versatile. All right, let's put some paint on paper to let you see what I'm talking about. So when the brush is wet, it can hold a rather sharp edge. Let's put some water onto the pen first. So this is a one inch brush and it fits the full pen size quite nicely. If you are using half pen like this, for example, this is going to be too small for use with a one inch brush or even a three quarter inch brush. All right, let's try and load the Prado brush as fully as possible and see how many strokes we can paint before we need to reload. On the third stroke, it's starting to dry up and on the fourth stroke, it's really dry. The good thing about this brush is when it's wet, the application is quite even. I want to show you something about the Escoda Versatile brush before I load it with paint. So let me just soak this with water first and compare that to the Prado brush. With the Escoda Versatile brush, when it's loaded, the brush hair actually opens up slightly. And because it opens up slightly, it can hold a lot of water within the hair. So as I press it down like this, you can see there is a lot of water inside. As for the Prado brush, you can see the edge here. This is very thin and it doesn't have a large enough belly compared to the Versatile. Can you see the belly of the Versatile versus the Prado, which is quite slim. And now let's use the Escoda Versatile. I'm going to load it fully as well. This watercolor paper, by the way, the size is 9 by 12 inches. All right, let's do the same test. Immediately, I can tell that this brush can hold a lot more water. Yep, 
even on the third stroke I can I can see that it is not drawing up yet I have ran out of space on this paper. Anyway, the result is quite clear. The Escoda Versatile can hold more water compared to the Prado. But of course, it can hold more water because there is more hair. But not just that, it's because the hair, the characteristics of this particular synthetic hair, it can hold more water. As um, you see earlier on, when I dip the brush into the water, the brush actually sort of opens up. Uh, to hold more water but as you paint uh, it becomes like this again it becomes flat again and the application is quite even as well so with a brush like this you can fill half a page of this 9 by 12 inch paper quite easily but with the Prado brush you can probably fill about um, one third of the page before you need to reload so if you are someone who paints really big then it's better to get a bigger brush, not just that. I think in this case here, it's better to get the versatile brush. I have a regal brush as well, so let's test this out. So this is how it looks like when it's wet. The point is not as sharp as I expected. I'm not going to paint anything special. I'm just going to draw some straight lines. All right, the Prado hair, this is definitely quite springy. Notice how the brush is bending. And as I lift the brush, it goes back to its original position. So this brush, this hair, it has a really nice snap to it. The same applies to the flat brush. Notice how the brush, it has already dried up very quickly. The Prado is not a brush that is very suitable for use on dry and thirsty paper. My overall recommendation? Well, you can certainly use them with watercolor, but they do not hold as much water compared to other types of brushes. So the more appropriate use for these brushes maybe would be to use with thicker paint like with oil, acrylate, or even gouache. If you want a big flat brush that can hold a lot of water for painting with watercolor, I would say consider the Escoda Versatile. This is not significantly more expensive compared to the Prado. In fact, I think for the water carrying capacity, this is really worth the money, which is the reason why I bought this to replace the Prado. Since the Prado is a synthetic brush, the pricing is more affordable compared to natural hair brushes like the Sable brushes. So let's compare the price. For a size 6 round brush short handle, we are looking at US $10.74. Let's take a look at another synthetic that Escoda produces, which is the Escoda Versatile. So for the Versatile, for size 6 short handle, we are looking at 14.4 US dollars. So the Prado is quite affordable compared to the Versatile. This is the pricing for Escoda Reservoir. This is Sable Brush. So for size 6, we are looking at 22 US dollars. So this is almost half price compared to a sable brush. So that's all for today's review. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to check out my reviews for other types of watercolor brushes, other brands, you can visit the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.